Hello everyone, in this video we are solve this interesting exponential equation x to the power 6 plus 64 is equal to 0 x is equal to what? How to solve this question? It is interesting math because of that we are finding out here is the x answer. Okay, let's start. Our question is x to the power 6 plus 64 is equal to 0. Yes. Now this x it will be x square and whole to the power 3 look according to exponential rules 2 times 3 it will be 6 plus 64 i can say easily it will be 4 to the power 3 4 to the power 3 it will be 64 is equal to 0 then i can say easily uh, it will be look we know that the identity eq plus v cube it will be a plus b times a square minus a b plus b squared according to this identity i can say this if i follow this rules it will be x square plus 4 times and it will be a square minus a b plus b square so it will be x to the power 4 because of that x square and again square it will be x to the power 4 minus a b it will be 4 x square yes plus v square 4 square it will be 16 is equal to zero yes now this expression i can easily uh, we'll find out here is two equation uh it will be x to the power four sorry x to the power two plus four is equal to zero and we'll find out others case it will be x to the power four minus four x square plus 16 is equal to zero yes now in this expression I can say it will be x square is equal to minus 4 yes I just move on this 4 in this side it will be negative 4 then if I use both sides square root then square root is cancelled we are find out here is x is equal to square root minus 4 yes so it is a complex number then I can say easily here is x is equal to square root 4 square root minus 1 then this equation becomes x is equal to plus minus 2i you know that is square root minus 1 it will be i yes we are find out here is x1 and x2 but here is x to the power 4 minus 4x squared plus 16 is equal to 0 how to solve this question so in this case i can say really here is a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 16 now at this moment we'll find out the value of x square uh, it will be minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 a c over 2 a yes so in this expression i can say here is x square is equal to minus b so b is minus 4 so i can say really minus minus 4 plus minus square root b square so it will be minus 4 whole square minus 4 a c a is 1 c is 16 over 2 a a is 1 yes now in this expression i can say really here is x square it will be 4 positive 4 minus minus it will be positive 4 plus minus square root 16 minus 64 over 2 4 times 16 it will be 64 yes so i can say this expression uh it will be x square look x square is equal to 4 plus minus and square root 16 minus 64 i can say that it will be square root minus 48 over 2 yes now at this moment i can say here is x square is equal to 4 plus minus square root 48 i can say that it will be 16 times 3 and square root minus 1 over 2 yes now this expression here is x square is equal to 4 plus minus square root 16 it will be 4 and here is square root 3 you know that is squared minus 1 it will be i over 
to these two okay now i can say here is x squared and 4 divided 2 it will be 2 plus minus and here is 4 so i can say 4 divided 2 it will be again 2 and here is square root 3i yes now in this expression if i find out the value of x in this equation so if i use both sides square root i use i find out easily uh, what is the value of x in this question so okay let's start i can say here is x square is equal to 2 uh, i can say it will be 3 plus minus 2 square root 3 i minus 1 look uh, 3 minus 1 i can say that it will be 2 yes this 2 and it 2 plus minus 2 square root 3 i here is plus minus 2 square root 3 i so there is no change and in this expression i can say that it will be x square is equal to look 3 i can say that it will be square root 3 whole square then square roots cancel we are find out again previous line plus minus 2 times square root 3 times i look 2 square root 3i here is 2 square root 3i and here is minus 1 so you know that minus 1 uh, i couldn't do complex tools it will be i squared yes so at this moment look if you think it is a plus minus 2 a b it will be v so a square plus 2ab plus b square it will be a plus b whole square according to this rules i can see that it will be ax squared is equal to square root 3 plus minus i and whole to the power 2 look a plus v whole square it will be a square plus 2ab plus b square according to this rules then uh, at this moment uh, we find out x square is equal to here is square root 3 plus minus i whole square then if i use both sides square root i can say that the square root is cancel here is square root is cancel we we'll find out here is x is equal to plus minus square root 3 plus minus i this is our other final answer so we we'll find out first of all here is x is equal to plus minus 2y and we we'll find out here is x is equal to plus minus square root 3 plus minus i so we'll find out here is 6 answer look x is equal to plus 2i x is equal to minus 2i and again here is x is equal to plus square root 3 plus minus i and here is minus take and again plus take and again minus take so this is our final answer in this exponential equation in this tricky math question thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care